What's up guys, I'm Anime Panda. It should be no surprise to anybody by this point that I am a huge fanboy of Power Rangers. I have already made a couple of Power Ranger videos by this point. One on Shadow's Grid if it would ever turn into a TV series. And the second one is on the Legendary Ranger aka Tommy Oliver. If those of you sound any interesting to you, I'll put them in little cards and they'll pop up at any given time and you guys can go and watch them and I hope that you have fun watching them just as much as I have fun talking about them. But there is something that I wanted to, to talk about and that definitely is number one. <clears throat> what I want to see done in Power Rangers in probably the near future. Now I know that Power Rangers and Toho kind of have a deal with each other that basically Power Rangers get the copyright for Super Sentai and they use Super Sentai clips but they just do a voice over so basically nobody will really tell the difference but if you're a Super Sentai fan like myself you can blatantly just pick it out of the unordinary and I do it all the time. I mean in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers there were some times where I couldn't tell because it was so well done back in those days but now it just blatantly obvious. So, here's a couple of things that I want to see done in Power Rangers that hasn't been done yet. And definitely we're going to start with probably one of the most obvious, a female Red Ranger. Oh no, don't you even throw out, but we had one in Super Samurai! That doesn't count. I mean from the first episode to the end of the franchise. That didn't count. I've always been interested in what would happen if we had a female Red Ranger. We kind of had a little throwback to one in SPD where they met, uh, <clears throat> where they met, like, Alpha Force or something like that, like the Alpha Rangers or something like that, and, um, they were, bi and they were different from them. Um, we had, we had a female Red Ranger, we had a male Yellow Ranger, which we have a lot of those already, and, um, I, rem I still remember Jack surprised when he's like, a woman is a freaking Red Ranger. And I was sitting back as a kid kind of going, yes! It was kind of a dream of mine to actually see a Red Ranger be a female instead of a male. And I'm not the only one that's thinking that because I know a lot of you guys out there probably think the same way. And so I would love to see a female Red Ranger. I mean, come on. Girls are tough, dude, and girls are smart, and when girls are both tough and smart, then girls be sexy. Not lying. Number two, I would definitely want to see a more variety of rangers. You can't have the typical stereotypes that we've been having for a while, Nickelodeon. You can't. You can't have the same blatant stereotypes. I mean, let's look back at fucking Megaforce and Super Megaforce, which are the Mighty Morphin and Zeo clones. Seriously. Why? You know, you, you know, they need to take a lesson from one of the best writers of Power Rangers, Judd Lynn. <clears throat> Judd is an amazing writer, and he definitely has a skill when it comes to writing. His characters are well developed, he has a very interesting set of characters, even if we get flashback to those characters, they're still well done. Now here's the thing, you can have a different group, and I suppose that that's what basically the Breakfast Club movie kind of imposed on people, with a different variety in a group, but make it work. Come on, if they can do it, you can do it. I would love to see, like, the tough kid, you know, I'd love to see the brainiac, I'd love to see, like, the drama queen, I would love to see, like, a, no offense, it'd kind of be a little bit funny, in a sense, to see, like, a goth, um, a goth, basically, Power Ranger, we sort of got that in Dino Thunder with Kira, but not in the same context, so I'd love to see it more worked out. You know what I mean? And also, I'm just speaking, I'd love to see some more Ranger relationships. We kinda haven't seen those played out anymore. 
I mean, Tommy and Kimberly and then Tommy and Kat, that was a big thing that happened. People just think that that was a little thing that just got shrugged off. No, that was a thing that happened. Tommy was legit in a relationship with Kimberly, but then later turned eyes over to Catherine. And it's a thing that can happen in Power Rangers, and I'd love to see it played out some more. Third, and I hate to be the guy to do this and say this, more ranger deaths. Look, you guys, if you haven't grown up in the 90s like I did, you haven't seen the biggest Lost, epi uh, Lost Galaxy episode where Kendrix died. People thought it would have been like a Master Splinter thing from Ninja Turtles, like, I vanish, now I reappear. No. Kimberly, I mean, Kendrick, the too many K's, is dead. Long gone, dead, forgotten about, never coming back again, dead. You guys need to do this some more. Super Sentai does this every fucking day of the week, and they're like, we'll have them replaced by next episode, don't worry about it. Seriously, if you count down how many rangers that Super Sentai has killed, you Probably by this point would be a millionaire. Just start from Go Ranger up until the Sentai of now, and you'd be a millionaire because they already killed off a lot of different characters. And lastly, one thing I'd love to see like more played out: Evil Six Rangers, based in a turn. Now look, they do have some evil Power Rangers, like in Super Sentai Lord, or some evil Rangers. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, what we did with Tommy, what we did with Ryan, what we did <clears throat> with Trent, the evil Power Ranger. Now look, I know in the Super Sentai variant of, uh, like, um, RJ from, <clears throat> from, Jungle Fo from Jungle Force and Trent, the Super Sentai versions were evil as well, and they later on turned good. But they had a side effect that they would eventually die. Let's go back to Super Sentai for a minute and check out Zoo Ranger. In Zoo Ranger, uh, when Geki's brother Burai was a part of the team, he was only on the team for like four or five episodes, and then he died. They just killed him off. They didn't even care. Yes, Burai gave him the Dragon Crest and the Dragon Flute, but that still doesn't make any difference because his brother died and he was very torn up about that, even the fact after that happened. We don't need to kill off the six rangers, in a sense, or make them lose their power, even though it was creatively done. I'm just saying, it would be nice to have like a Lightspeed Rescue Ryan again where he's so evil to the point of almost killing the rangers, also Tommy Oliver, to the point where it's just blind rage. Even Ninja Storm did that perfectly well when Hunter went fucking berserk. Seriously, nobody remembers when he got hit in the steam, hit in the face with steam and became fucking enraged. I'm the only nerd around here, am I? But anyway, I would love to see the Evil Rangers played out again. It would be a nice turn of events. And you could do some really creative stuff with them. I mean, seriously, there is a reason why Jug Lin won an award for being one of the best fucking Power Rangers writers. He is a very good writer. He can create drama. He can be dramatic. He can kill off a ranger and not even blink an eye. We need him back! And according to my resources and rumors that he was supposed to return when we had, was it either Samurai or Megaforce? I think both, if I'm not mistaken. And he turned them both down! You know, Judd, I'm, uh, gonna be honest here. You should have reconsidered because Samurai and both Megaforce would have been awesome. I'll be honest, I like Samurai. It had a good premise, it had good plot, and it really did have a good development of characters. We don't talk about the rest that go down the list. 
Like, fine, you can talk about Power Rangers Samurai, you can talk about every other season that goes down to Samurai, and we and people be like, which would to make opinions in between about different rangers, they'd be like, all right, cool, you know, I can understand. But when someone goes, Mega Force is my favorite, people go, whoa, I'll catch them now. There are good reasons why we don't talk about that series. But there is another scene I'd actually like to see just before I end this off. A team of female rangers. Now look, I know that people are like, well, we can have like a mix up in between. You know, we always have the three, the three guys, the two females, done. Yeah, that's true, I don't understand that. But it would also be kind of awesome to have like a parallel universe of Power Rangers where all the Power Rangers are females. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to say it to be sexist or anything or, you know, rude to anybody or anything. No, I love Power Rangers to a whole. I'm just saying that a team of female rangers would actually be pretty kick-ass. I mean, you could play out some different events for them, definitely. And I know that, basically, females on Power Rangers are very tough and are very strong. In fact, one of my favorite girl female rangers is... <clears throat> it's Taylor from Wild Force, a woman who comes from the Army, the Air Force, to actually be a Power Ranger, so she knows what tough is. And if you can play on that and make it work, <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> congratulations. Because I'd be very impressed if that ever did happen. But who knows. Anyway, what type of ranger team would you like to see in the future? I mean, I know that people were happy that we got an African-American leader back in Power Rangers Beach Morphers. I haven't seen Beach Morphers, but I heard some mixed opinions about it. So let me know in the comment section down below what type of team that you like to see. Including if you'd like to see an alien type of ranger played out. I'd actually like to see that too and see how that would be played. So let me know. And also you can tap, and also some other nerdy things in between if you want to leave them in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and join my lady universe. You can even join me at Twitter with the link in the description below. And I want to say thank you everybody so much for watching. And I will see you next time in the next lazy universe episode. Maybe more Power Rangers, hmm, I don't know. But we'll see. So I'll see you next time.